thanks for staying with us now. De Derek Jackson, a relationship coach, was caught cheating on his wife, and he has been cheating on her for a long time. He then went on to make a video with his wife referring to himself in third person, and the third person admitted to having fallen short. His wife was holding his hands in the video in solidarity. Now, she then went on to release a video yesterday wearing a camo and a blackberry, and she said um, she was fighting a spiritual warfare. The wife posted that she had low self-esteem and had been trying to be like the wom women on um, her husband's um, IG, who he follows on, on IG, or his past lovers, that she would try to dress like them, have sex with him like them, even try to squirt, cause some of them did. Until she found Jesus and believed in herself, the general, uh, so now, um, until she found Jesus and be she believed in herself. Now, the general concession in this um, story is that she's been manipulated, and a lot of men are, they are very upset because this same um, relationship coach, he teaches other women to stand up for themselves and not accept less. Um, people are genuinely worried if um, he's manipulating the wife and they believe she needs help. Now, De Derek, on, his, on the other hand, is still going on releasing videos and people are saying that he's not sorry and he's finding ways to milk, um, uh, milk the situation and make money off the scandal. So we have a lot of questions to ask. Um, like, for instance, how people are being manipulated by what they hear or see online how it has destroyed families and relationships. Thirdly, how can you find yourself knowing um, your worth, knowing what um, information to take in and what to do away with or what to accept you know, when it comes to your emotional and mental health? And finally, what length would you go to trend? As most of us have our dark stories, would you handle your pain better if everyone knew your story so you put it out there on social media? That's the question for tonight. Now, please let us share what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WayShow or send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 803 So who do I come to first on this story? I will come to Maury because you were the one that wanted to take this story yesterday for <laughs> your What's in the News. So why did you want to talk about this? Maury, are you there? Did we lose Maury? Yes, we did. Okay, Jennifer, let me come to you then. Okay, um, like I said earlier, um, when I saw this news, I wasn't surprised. <laughs> but I think what, um, what caught my attention the most was when I heard that um, a lot of people probably in America um, already know about him mm -hmm. being a relationship expert. And I also heard, um, saw comments about, um, comments where men were saying that they always knew he was, he was a hypocrite, he was fraudulent and all of that. And a lot of them said that women would listen to anything. Um, also, I think because of this particular story, I had to go on Clubhouse yesterday morning before I headed for work. And the room was actually filled with a lot of people from uh, people staying in America. So they were all talking about Derek Jackson and the wife, because as said then the video he made had already been put on the internet. Mm. So where she was holding his hands and he was referring to himself in third person. And a lot of people had a problem with the fact that it didn't look like he was owning up to his mistake mm. or owning up to what he did. Um, it just looked like he wanted to say something just to protect his brand. And I get that you want to protect your brand. But at the same time, you have a lot of people who have been taking your advice, hook, line, and sinker. People have been listening to you. There was somebody on the clubhouse group, a guy who was saying that he had, um, he had an ex-girlfriend who has bought two of his books in the past. And then sometimes she would apply some of the things that he said in their relationship. And that was part of the things that kind of led to their breakup. Okay, Jennifer. And I was just, I was let me just cut like, you right oh there. God. Let me cut you right there. The truth is that, is there a possibility that this person might have a message, even though he's, he has his own mess? There might be a message in that mess. Because the truth is, I mean, I don't, I don't see why people are blaming, first of all, you are the one that accepted to believe what he's telling you. So you can't really put it on him. 
you know, where people are getting angry at him. And secondly, the fact that I am all messed up does not mean I do not have a strong message that can help somebody else. Do you get what thank I'm trying you, to say? Uh, thank you for saying, thank you for saying what you just said now, because when it was my time to speak on that group, this was the exact same thing that I said. Mm. And I said, you people are coming for this man right now because his mistake, um, whatever he had done is now made public. Now, I'm not supporting... I'm not supporting what he did. And I, to, to be honest, I don't see it as a mistake because it wasn't a one-time thing. Mm. It's something he has been doing for over a long, a time. long period of time. Mm. But that is at size the point for now. Okay. But uh, okay, one let, of let... the points that I made to everybody was that I understand, um, I understand what is going on right now, but doesn't change the fact that what he was saying to women, the advice he was giving to women, they were right. Because he was teaching women to stand up for themselves, know your self-worth, never accept less from a man, or the things that you shouldn't do just because you need okay. you need you need a husband. Yeah, or let me something hear more. Like I don't listen to him, mm. but because of this story, I had to go look for some of his messages. I needed to hear, okay, what has he been saying? I don't necessarily listen to self-acclaimed um experts coaches, and relationship life coaches. experts. <laughs> Yes, because I know everyone makes mistakes. Of Everybody makes mistakes. Of course. And people would teach people. The thing is, if you put somebody on a pedestal, they will stay there and they will keep growing and growing and growing. And mm. then you keep seeing them as a God. Mm -hmm. Before you know it, you will lose yourself mm. and then start taking everything they say and see everything they say as the truth. Mm. But the truth is, these people are human. They are human. The same way you have pastors. Mm. Even God said it in the Bible that there are words that you would listen to. Pick the one that will edify your spirit mm. and drop the rest. Absolutely. So there are words you listen to. There are things you see online. You cannot take everything in. It's, mm. Don't don't do that to yourself. Don't do it. Okay. Let me let me come to Mori. <laughs> Mori is itchy to talk. <laughs> okay. So to start with. Eh, me, I'm not even, I'm not even, like, if, if you want to cheat on your, on your wife, that's okay. But then to now come and publicly be humiliating the poor woman, you know, she looks like she's, she looks like she's under the influence. First of all, you're not sorry. Like, if, if, if the woman wants to stay with you after you've cheated, that's okay. Like, whatever rocks your relationship. But then for the woman to now come and say that she's healed, like, you cannot be so out of the 14 years that they've been together, he's only been faithful for six months. Hmm. How are you healed? Then you're now using Jesus to, to cover face. Don't do that. Like, that's why there's, there's actually a thin line between being a religious person and being a fanatic. See, that woman is under the influence is what I think. You want to forgive him. You're not coming to say, oh, yes, this guy cheated. We're going to therapy. I'm going to see how it goes. They are coming outside to say that you are healed after cheating on you for more than 13 years. It's just normal. You don't have to be a relationship expert to, to know that. You need to heal. You need therapy. You need you. Something is wrong somewhere. Mm. You know, there's somebody who's coming to. And if you hear him talk, you will know that he's, 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 an, he's good with words. He's an orator. If you look at the girl's behavior, she's calm. And mm. if you've seen the things that she has said, she has um, self-esteem issues. Yeah. And that's the fastest way to put somebody under your captivity. I keep saying that the worst, the, the, every abuse is bad, but the worst form of abuse is, is mental abuse. And that's what he's doing to that woman. Where somebody makes you feel like you cannot deserve, you can't get better, then you not the gain. It, it's just the worst thing that can happen to anybody. And I feel like, that woman needs to be checked upon. So now, I'm not saying don't forgive your cheating partner if that's what you want to do. But I'm just saying when something is wrong, say it's wrong. How are you holding a hand? Why, why is he holding a hand in the video to say that he cheated? You need moral support for, for saying that you cheated on somebody. How wicked can you be? Okay, okay, because I, I like what you said. Because now we're trying to, to peel the onion, right? Taking it layer by layer. So there is a problem here. There's a fundamental problem. And I, I like the fact that we're not trying to throw blames. We're trying to find, you know, a solution. When dealing with an unhealthy relationship, right, it takes all parties. This is my opinion. Because if you hear what she wrote about herself, 
how she dealt with rape, how she dealt with uh, the, the spirit of comparison, being obsessed, you know, and, you know, going on social media to try to look like the girls that she saw her husband sleep with and all of that. It tells you that she's also coming from a deep place of insecurity. And like you rightly said, the way she describes the man, you know, she is like she's in awe of this man, right? That, that if you, if the, 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 the series of write-up that she did, that she pulled down, um, the one that uh, Jennifer posted to the group, I read those, those, um, those write-ups. And you, see, you could see that she is in awe of this man, right? So I am wondering now, when you are dealing with an unhealthy relationship, this method that they have chosen, because the man is already in the limelight, right? Should it be that this same how to solve the problem, it was the best option for them to take it on social, on social media? Or is he capitalizing, like people are speculating, that he's capitalizing on this, you know, to milk the situation and at the same time make money off of the situation? What's your take on that? Um, oh, well, I, don't, I honestly don't really understand your question. Can, can you come again? So he is going on social media. He's already a public figure. Maury, you are a public figure, right? Mm -hmm. If anything should happen tomorrow, and they say Maury did this, Maury did that, would you feel the need to go on social media to try to clear the air, or you rather have it done privately? Or because people are speculating that he is doing all of this, he's still taking advantage of the situation, to make money mm -hmm. off of it because i checked the youtube video crazy views on youtube right mm -hmm. crazy views on youtube on this apology on the other videos i mean crazy views on youtube so uh, is it are you are you seeing it that he's trying to make money off of the situation or he's genuinely trying to resolve the situation and just throw himself out there okay now you know i'm cheating i there's nothing i can do and, and let me just say it out there so that the whole world would hear Oh, uh, th this man exhibits the traits of a narcissistic person, first of all, to start with. If somebody is genuinely sorry, do you understand? Like you will tell from the tone of how he's talking. If somebody is genuinely sorry, you will not wait for them to catch you. So apparently, the, the, there was a scandal before he now said that he was going to come and confess. Had it been that he just came, you know, and he said, oh, there's something that I, I feel like I need to be truth with, truthful with you guys because I've been preaching something that I've not been practicing, you know. I, I, I don't think for once in that video he even said, I'm sorry. He kept on saying, Jesus has won the battle. I, I, the, that the devil was trying to uh, he's putting it on the devil mm. he's putting it on the devil why are you wicked like that like like take accountability and say i did this thing you get and i'm feeling bad it's not once who oh, did he say my wife did not deserve it if you look at the attitude on his face he has he, he rose one eyebrow put the second one down use one hand to gesticulate and held his wife's hand very very tightly why, why is that woman in that video first of all first and foremost to come and show that oh you're perfect and your house is fine huh, Jennifer. So i don't think it's genuine and if it was genuine enough don't put it on youtube i don't think that it should go on youtube but now i feel like because it feels like people are you know youtube is a terrestrial platform forever and ever you keep collecting your money so he probably feels like since people are trying to bail on him let him go and look for something that is going to be giving him forever money because me i i i, I don't know <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer, let me come to you. Um, okay, so, um, well, first of all, I know I initially, um, we should not refer to what she did as a mistake. Hmm. I said mistake because of, you know, how people would term cheating. Oh, it was a mistake. Now, when you do something once, we can refer to it as a mistake. Doesn't necessarily make it a mistake because you knew exactly what you were doing. Now, if it is repetitive, it means that you fell and you wanted to remain there. Mm. It means that you did not regard other people. Mm. You have lost self-respect and you also do not respect the next person or your partner who is involved. Now, the fact that he has a brand, he's trying to save his brand. Mm. Now, the people he has been preaching or he has been teaching... We definitely want him to say something. They want. They will definitely want to hear from him because guess what? There are people that will still say, "Oh, it is the devil's work." Mm -hmm. There are people that will still say, "Oh, he's human. He can make mistakes." Again, if you're listening and you have 
you have decided to term it a mistake. It is not a mistake when it is repetitive. It is very clear that he's trying to secure his bag. He's trying to protect his money. Hmm. So he will keep releasing videos and he will keep releasing videos until this whole thing fades out, which of course it will. So the thing is, he wants to put up a front that, okay, yes, I did this. I have acknowledged it. I have taken responsibility. Let's move on from this and let me keep teaching you what I need to teach and then you keep paying me money. Hmm. That is basically what he is doing. Wow. So you do not see any level of, um, what is it called? Okay, this is just me. Since you know already, let me just throw it out there and just, you know, and just tell, let the whole world just know so that I can move on with my life. You people don't see that. Okay. There's the part of now, because I listened in on the conversation of the, the young girl that is pregnant for him, saying that he did not, she wasn't aware that he was in a, what he told her was he was in the middle of a divorce and he was trying to get the divorce uh, done, but they live in two different states, so it's been difficult serving the divorce letter. So I kept on thinking that why do men, some men, because let me not generalize, why do some men feel the need that every single time you want to have an affair with someone, why can't you just come out clean to say, you know what, I want to have an affair with you, right? So whatever it leads, fine. Why do you have to lie that you are in a messy relationship, your, your wife is giving you a problem, or, your, or what's it called, or you're in the middle of a divorce? You just bring up lies and stories to be able to, you know, have your way with a woman. Why do we always have to do that? Can't we just get to that point where we say, you know what, <laughs> this is what I want to do, and you move on. It's either she says yes or no. I think it's for the fear of the woman saying no, because, I mean, for you to want to have an affair with somebody, you don't want them to say no. So instead of, you know, coming truth and coming, saying the truth, you just, you just end up lying. And those ones to believe, you know, the life that you, you felt for them. You know what? Well, well that, that's, where, that's where manipulation comes in. Mm. The truth is a lot of people want to have the upper hand against the other person. Mm. They want to manipulate you. Now, a lot, uh, also a lot of people, both men and women, don't know how to handle rejection. Mm. And I feel like these are the things that we need to actually start teaching our kids right from when they're small. That rejection is normal. Mm -hmm. It is okay for you to be rejected. Mm. Lick your wounds. And move on. And move on. People cannot always say yes to everything that you want. Now, for you to lie about your status just because you want to get your way it means that you're very wicked and you're evil hmm. and you because if the case was reversed if the case was reversed you would not like it you would not appreciate it hmm. and i feel like people need to start applying these things to their life not just relationship just imagine if if you're um you're applying for a job and then they tell you that okay we're going to pay you a hundred thousand naira for this job now because they want you to say yes you say yes and then when you start working they tell you that your salary is 50,000 or your salary is 30,000. Now, when they said 100K, that's just total packet. That's just your gross. Mm. And that your net and your take-home salary for the month is 30,000. How would you feel? Mm. So that's me manipulating you into working. I just want to use you. Mm. And people need to actually stop that. I don't know. It makes no sense to me. And I don't understand why people have to do that in this age and time. People still do that. Okay, so, so we're going to take a break because we, need, we really need to understand how, if you are in this current situation now, how would you deal with this kind of unhealthy relationship? We'll take a very short break. When we return, we'll open our phone lines as well to hear from our audience. Stay with us. We'll be right back.